ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pat's Dish of Skin. Today, we're checking out Switch Galaxy Ultra. Now, I thought three words that don't really go well together. I don't really know what that's trying to say. But all I can hear with this doleful tune is... Go into space. We're out in space. Yeah, we're going to space. Ah, it's such a relaxed, chilled out tune. It's such a relaxing moment just to sit here and watch as the Earth slowly turns. Is it even turning? I'm not too sure. The only thing that's blinking is actually telling me to press a button because really it's a much minimalist thing. I just can't get over this tune. So we're in space. We float here in space. Chill in space till we find whatever the hell this is. Okay, so we've got galactic ley lines that we can ride along with a bunch of tubes. So, Dakar? <laughs> is this the new version of the Dakar race course? I mean, the Paris to Dakar rally is already dangerous enough as it is, so do we need this to go along with it? So, what we got? Hmm. I'm having trouble difficulty reading this. Hmm. Alright, what is it? Monsesina, part of the gambling inclined galaxy, where the rich get to get purr and the purr go to get rich. The place is hot and thumping and throbbing, and inside many a heartbeat of the alien equivalent is doing likewise. The venue is no stranger to suave and is not starved of sophisticated, but still the tall, leith form. Leith life. Going to cancel this and try again. Life form or well, life, leaf. I'm still not too sure about that. Life form of Vince Vance and his retina crippling companions. Well, took too long to do that. Pick an egg, sir. Pick an egg. The Poker Wheel. I wonder what the Poker Wheel is. It's a phrase heard only once before, and it ended with the bankruptcy of a small planet and a 50,000 year dynasty being sold into bondage. Sit back and take the crowd, cap off the neff room. Hollow tubes. And the room holds its breath. The spacers pause their respirators. Sir likes to live dangerously. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I do. Where's my martini? Anything other than dangerously is not living. I love the sound effects in this so far. It's beautiful. Yay! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> well, perhaps sir would like to... I'm sorry. The house would like to offer you the... The... Beep, 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 Oh, no. Not again. Beep, 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 Bakara, I'd world and stop the pits, the splits the pits and pits and grits and doesn't stop. A parasitic tick on a parasitic tick. The mother is suckling from the planet, drive the resources right out from under the crowded feet of the natives. The child catching the falling crumbs and servicing its off-world traffic more than adequately with them. Every day, 10,000 assorted members of the sentient and semi-sentient races come here on business. Or on the way to for pleasure, for there's none to be had here on Bakara. Here you can get food, gas, and fuel, and something to help with the gas after the food. <laughs> nice. You can also get a clean shiv in your gut. Oh, this this is essentially a uh, this is tattooing. A worse hive of scum and villainy. You been fighting again? Of course not. He did all the fighting. I took care of the lying down. You know he can't fight. Eh, yeah, me he looks short enough to have sat down. Didn't realize there weren't no stool. He was sitting on his fists. <laughs> Heard what? Heard that? Heard that. 
Vince Vaughn, youngest racer to have won the end of the car. 5,000 the age 12 and the oldest at the age 42 and the only racer to have been disqualified disgraced twice age 12 and 42 and in between either side a mercenary a haulage facilitator a pigeon fancy or unconvicted <laughs> a pirate a marine colonel in the Bataran army during peacetime a deserter of the Bataran army during wartime a shepherd a president a primary school teacher and a traffic warden though he leaves that one off his resume right now he harvests tantalum we'll get to that why are you stopping anyway we get, uh, it's a, I, I'm actually not keeping a pace for this, actually recording. Uh, we give you a new pills in the evac tube on the EV. Um, you want me to shit in a poo tube? And it's got no romance. Pit stop have more romance? <laughs> hey, he's getting away! Ah, oh, fuck it! Well, now you're 45 seconds behind. I'll make it up on the Nefarian Straits. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. I'm actually liking the plotting of this game. Sigh, the Nefarian Straits. It's... What is it? It's mind-blowing, the life you're living. Except soaring comments, skirting... Ugh. I can barely read the text in this, so it's actually really, really hard to focus. God damn it. Let's see if I can actually make this a little bit easier for myself. Nope, not at all. It's still actually just as, just as hard to read as I can. So, yeah. I'm trying to actually read this while we're recording the audio commentary to go over the top of it. But ostensibly, what we can see is that we have a wonderfully interesting alien lady who's directing our Vince Vance towards his vehicle. I'm assuming she's going to be like our omniscient narrator over the top of this because she seems to be like fascinated with his travels through space. And we really have like a Han Solo-esque kind of like badass out in the, out in the badlands of space just delivering shit. So we're just like a, a fucked up delivery driver. I like this plan. This is actually like, this is almost like starting off like a, a sci-fi plot that almost ranks up there with Snow Crash. Of, uh, what, what was the name? Hero Protagonist. That was the main character in Snow Crash. This is actually pretty badass. Okay, so I still have no idea what this game is about. I'm assuming it's you playing as Vince Vance and transporting stuff. Switch Galaxy Ultra, you have still got me lost, but you have me intrigued with your wonderful soundtrack and delightfully surreal storyline. <laughs> Oh, come on. Really need to get to the gameplay here. <sighs> right. Look, don't get maudlin. In addition to my contracted 20,000 quarts of tantalum, I've been snapped the Fungorian hollows for you. Three hours of them in 360D. You can lose yourself when I get back. I'll man the desk. Nah, there he is. Get there he is! Get him! Really? No kidding? Uh, that's actually sweet. So he's a bit of an asshole, but he actually does help her out. You think I can't make three hours on the way I fly? You need to hear what? Necessitating membranes <laughs> recalibrated? Well, thank you, despite the squiddy remark. Oh, so uh, oh, that, that makes sense by the look of the design of her. She actually isn't, you know, she is an alien race, but she's um like a, a cephalopod race of some sort. It's a trap! <laughs> Sister, you got a deal. Well, come on, get onto the ship and get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. I love the idea of him just like, what? Just like, just using like a, a rubber tongue to just cling on to the side of a ship and take off. <laughs> oh man. The EV. So this is a ship. Uh, I, I mean, again, I still can't read the proper text on this, so. Uh, this is actually unbelievably irritating. The, this art style for this is really, really nice. It reminds me a lot of 2000 AD's kind of like Future Shocks. I wouldn't be surprised if this was um, a Euro, well, a UK video game with the art style and the layout and the paneling this is because it reminds me a lot of like some of the 2000 AD kind of like um, <laughs> nice even just grabs a docking girl on the way and gives her a smooch. <laughs> Lothario himself, he's even on the run, he still manages to fit the time in. But yeah, if you've never read 2000 AD, that's where Judge Dredd, Rogue Trooper, a bunch of other things come from. They're actually amazing comic book series that's been going on for years and years and years. I think you can pretty much, uh, you can probably download the uh, retro see, issues. Vince, the EV has been outfitted with a new galactic map screen. Take a few moments to get a feel for it. Oh, thank you very much, Evie. As you're just leaving Bakara. You need to move your cursor over to the Vyox. Select the Vyox. <laughs> I, love them. I like her accent. It's actually quite... Uh, oh. I can listen to that for ASMR for all day. Order to travel there. As you progress, your route will turn green on the map. If you break the record, then that route will turn gold. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break all the records now, just because she's asking. Am I paying attention? 
Ah, oh, sweet! Actually, I almost got his voice right. You mean, am I paying attention? Alright, I'm Vince Vance. Let's get ourselves some deliveries. <laughs> so, if you don't have enough when you reach them, just head somewhere else. Aw, oh, Squiddy, honey. You know I'll come there as fast as I can. Of course. We outfitted the Eevee with our new Galaxy Dapnet system. This tells you all the relevant information you need to know, such as bonus times and records. Well, that's really useful. So, right, I don't know what this upgrade is, so I'm just gonna start as it is. I've got no cash anyway to mess around with. All right, in the gameplay. Oh. Listen up, fans. I know you don't need me to show you the ropes, but rules are rules. I'm sorry, I had an apoplectic coma whenever I got punched in the head. I can't remember. Fuck all. I wasn't sleeping. I was preparing my temple-like body. Body for the. Perfect. So you'll see your timer on the top left. This shows your current time for the level. The your current time for the level. Yeah. It's nice to see that filling up. I and just I like her kind of like undistinct weird or accent. It's just a accent. It's not anything. This indicates how many barrier passes you have. How many bar? <laughs> Get that in the back of the throat. Ha! Ha! Yeah, I gotta get him. Yeah, I gotta get him. Leave me the fuck alone. God damn it, kid. Just, just, just let me deal with my hangover. Riding along at the speed of knuckles. All right, so we've got multiple lanes I can jump back and forth. Ah, right. So it's kind of like uh, a lane runner where it, this is actually it's a running game where I just have to shift lanes. All right. Hey, hey I've got this shit down. If there's any rhythm to this, this actually be awesome. Nah. Uh, oh, it does have a great pump and soundtrack, and the visuals are pretty badass as well. I mean, this is a nice, nice space skip. All right, cool. Yeah. Yep, they push me on. Yeah, I got this. I got this, baby. I understand. I know what's going on. Now just let me goddamn play. Hey, Squiddy, just would you just would you just get out of my face for a little minute? Come on. I know what you're talking about. Gently isn't in my vocab. Gently ain't in my vocab. Is it actually he's a little bit more English than I'm actually doing him? It ain't in my vocab. I know. I'm I think it might be the voice. <laughs> So it's like whoop. So it actually pushes you on. Push, 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 push. Ah, I didn't even have to jump there myself. I just let it ride me across. That sounded terrible. <laughs> so here we go. First. All right. So this isn't the ending. This is a, a portal. Warp zone. So what do I need to do here? All right. Uh, am I dodging these or catch? I'm catching these. All right. So this is a tantal, and this is actually the stuff I need to pick up. So if I have enough of these by the end of the track, I break the record. So bam! Oh, damn. So I must have to get like collect a certain amount before I make it to the next stage. Moss Casita! Here's I'm making it to the end of this track. So in the first 15 minutes of gameplay, I got a really interesting kind of like character intro, a basic introduction to the gameplay, which seems to be a lane racer of all sorts. This is a really simple but entertaining game. Imagine like the gameplay would get very, very um, zony, where you just kind of get it into your head and you just play through it. But the storyline keeps you interested. I'm looking forward to seeing other chapters of this. I think, honestly, the characterization in this world that this is in reminds me a lot of like good sci-fi. So I'll be definitely checking this out again. Goal time achieved. Yes, good man. <laughs> You got anything a bit more challenging? Yeah, that's the thing. This was an open level, so I'm sure it gets really challenging as it goes on with a lot more pace. So, guys, I mean, this has been 15 minutes, and I think it's time for me to go on. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. This has been Passage of Skin. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all the other things. I love you guys. You hopefully love me, and I want to see you again and come back to another episode here on Passage of Skin. So until that next time, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!